Hello all, I'm Ivan and this is my home allotment veggie beds. Right, it's Monday the 12th of July and I only feed my tomatoes and I actually feed my uh, peppers with the uh, tomato feed as well but I only do that once a week, yeah? So I'll turn you around and show you how I do that, yeah? Right, I've got my nine liters of water, yeah? And according to the back of this, you put one cup or one um, top full of the tomato feed for every four and a half ounces, uh, four and a half gallons of water. So I'll put two tops of this into the water. Just like that. <clears throat> Get the stick. Give it a bit of a stir. look it's changed colour a little bit so now you know that it's all mixed up because it's like a milky colour so right I'll come back to you in a sec right now that I've got my uh, tomato feed all I'm gonna do is just go round like that with the tomatoes and give the old um peppers and stuff a little feed as well as I go because this is too much feed for the amount of tomatoes I got so I may as well give the uh, peppers a little feed as well I must admit, I normally give these um, cucumbers a feed as well. But obviously I need to get more water and stuff to do them. So I'll do them off camera. But yeah, that's what I do with my watering on a Monday. It's just a general feed for everything really. Right, as I've said before, this is blind weed. I want to get it off the fence because it's coming through from next door, even in there as well, actually. And I need to get in there and give that a good weed as well. But yeah, I want to get this blind weed off of here. I have done some of it. I've cleared this bit so far, the bit in the middle. <laughs> I need to do it all the way down here as well, yeah? So, yeah. It's just picking at it that's a pain, you know? But yeah, I need to get that bind weed down and get in here and give all this a weed out as well. So I'll get on with that. Um, I must say, I've been getting a lot of uh, mushrooms come up at the sides of my beds. So yeah, I don't think that's a bad thing to be honest. I think it helps with the breakdown of the uh, uh, bulk chippings and everything so yeah I'll just leave them let them get on with it but like I said before with the onions when they had the onions in there there was loads of mushrooms in there as well but they never done no harm so personally I think it's just good fungi in the ground so yeah I'll get on with all these weeds and stuff right I've cleared most of it. I've got a little bit there, but I've done all the way up there. As you can see, my lily's out now as well, which is quite good. But yeah, I've only got that little bit to do now. And this, this, 
and this and this. I'll do all this tomorrow and I'll show you after I've done all that. Right. Right, as you can see, I've got a bind weed off or as much as I can get anyway. But yeah, I've taken that P frame down. I just need to um, give this a weed as well now. So I'm gonna do that. I need to get this brassica cage uh, heightened as well. As you can see, they've grown forever. So yeah, I need to heighten this as well today. So yeah, I'll get on with that weeding and I'll come back to you. Right, there you go. That's that bed weeded. Blimey, it's well muggy today. I'm sweating just by picking this little weeds up. But anyway, this is a karabi. So once I've had a cup of coffee, then I'm gonna come back out and I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit and see if I can get any late uh, kohlrabi. But we'll see what happens. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a go. Right, I've got you set up. I'm gonna put it on a time lapse and then you can see me plant this kohlrabi. I'll, I'll put some music over the top as well. That's uh, 15 kohlrabi planted today. Mm, they'll probably get taken by slugs or snails or something, but we'll see what happens. But what I think I'm gonna do now actually is I'm gonna pick some of this rhubarb, I think. Pick some of that. Uh, still haven't got my black currants. Not very many on them now, but yeah, I'll pick them as well. And I just looked at this winter radish, red meat. That's gone to flower now as well. So I'll pull it up, you can see what it's like. Oh. Oh, there you go. There you go. I might actually take it inside and show you the inside because it's got a little bit of a decent bulb so that's not too bad right i'll get on and pick them black currants and pick some of this rhubarb then i'll get back to you right these are my kestrel so let's see how we go See if we have any luck. Little plummy red ants in here. Of it, I could have left it a little bit longer because it's still got loads of little ones on it. So, yeah, but I think I'm going to leave them other ones in there for another few weeks to be honest because there's still a lot of growth. Yeah, well, that didn't turn out too well. 
<laughs> not very many. So I'll leave them a little bit longer, I think. Right. right, I'll bring you in and show you closer what I got. Well, yeah, that's a bit disappointing, to be honest. So I'm definitely going to leave the rest of these. I'm going to leave them until the uh, actual tops start dying off. But as you can see on this one, there's still lots of little growth starting on that one. So yeah, I'm definitely going to leave them in there until they start dying off. But yeah, right. I'll put these with the other stuff I've got now. Right, there you go. A little harvest. Some more rhubarb. That winter radish red meat. And some kestrel potatoes. Not very many. And a couple, well, half a dozen of the black currants off the bush. Right, that's going to be it for the day. So I'll catch you on Saturday. Right. Thanks for watching, commenting and subbing. If you haven't subbed, there's a button down there. Click on the bell and then click on all and you'll get my notifications. Right, catch you later, bye. Right, this is that winter radish red meat. I'm quite curious to see what it's like inside here. So I'll cut it open so you can see as well. I know what I'm expecting, but whether it's actually true or not, but we give it a go, here it goes. Straight in half. Hey, hey, look at that. There you go. That's quite cool. I don't know quite what I'm gonna do with it yet, but yeah, winter radish red meat. Yeah, it's something different, I suppose. Right, there you go, a little harvest, some more rhubarb, that winter radish red meat, and some kestrel potatoes, not very many, and a couple, well, half a dozen of the black currants off the bush. Right, that's gonna be it for the day. So I'll catch you on Saturday, right? Thanks for watching, commenting and subbing. If you haven't subbed, there's a button down there click on the bell and then click on all and you'll get my notifications right catch you later bye oh, 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 yeah.